वेलकम टू फ्रंट प्रो होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट वेब वर्कर्स इन एंगुलर लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वेन वेब वर्कर्स आर यूजफुल बाई अंडरस्टैंडिंग अ प्रॉब्लम लेट मी टेक यू टू अ स्मॉल एप्लीकेशन डेवलप्ड ऑन एंगुलर नाइन इन दिस एप्लीकेशन यू कैन सी देर इज अ कलर पिकर विच चेंजेस द कलर ऑफ द बॉक्स now if i click on cpu intensive work and then try to choose color again i cannot select color it is not responding because the main thread is so busy performing cpu intensive work we have to wait until the main thread gets free this is not a good user experience so the application responded in 45 seconds and during this period i was not able to interact with this application you can see uh, main threads is responsible for getting request uh, from http server as well as uh, it is also responsible for performing cpu intensive work so generally what happens when there is a cpu intensive work it doesn't respond to any other user actions and that's why it was get blocked so how we can resolve this issue so by introducing a web worker we can resolve it what we will do we will hand over this cpu intensive work to a new web worker and so that we can keep our main thread free for rendering works so let's implement if you wish to implement along with me please download code from my github repository once you download the code you must do a npm install since i have already done it so i'm not going to reinstall it once you install it you should also do ng build so that you must cross check whether it is compiling correctly or not okay it's building fine for me let me do ng serve okay the application is being served on port number 4200 so let's go for it okay i can change the color as well that's really good so let's jump into the code let's stop this application so let's create a worker folder inside app and then run a command it will do three things we'll add a new file tsconfig.worker.json we'll update angular json and create a web worker file so let's look into cpu.worker.ts let me close this you can refer to this link for initial scarf folding for all the links please uh, look into the description section uh, you will get all these links over there we have already generated our worker file now we have to initialize worker so i'll paste the code over here and then we'll explain so actually first of all the line number 23 is checking whether the worker is being supported by this browser or not if it is then uh, it's again checking whether this worker has been initialized already or not so it is something ensuring that we have a single instance of that worker 
and then uh, I'm referring here the worker file which is already there cpu worker.ts under worker folder all right now let me close this out again the else part where you need to write the fallback if it is not supported by your browser then you, uh, maybe you can pop up a message or something now we have to initialize it so i'll call this function from the constructor which is this is initialize web worker okay let me comment this out this is the old functionality which is this particular method is being called uh, when we click on cpu intensive work okay so and i'll paste another code now what this code does actually it's posting a message to a worker so i'm sending a message that uh, uh, this particular post message is from the main thread and when the worker will send some message i'm putting that into the console as well and whereas in worker i am just logging this into the console whatever the message is coming and responding to the main thread so let's uh, run this application now save then ng serve okay compiled successfully now let's go to console and click on cpu intensive work great so it's working i can see that uh, it's printing message from main thread as well as our worker process is also responding to main thread so it's working we can also verify from source under the thread section we have a another thread so we, now we have two two threads first is main thread and se second the cpu worker thread we have initiated so this uh, logic which was part of our app.component.ts is now part of uh, cpu worker.ts and here i am calling this method getting the result and posting back to main thread main thread is listening to this uh, this message from the worker and setting up to a local variable and this local variable has been binded with our html over here so uh, let's uh, test this application again whether it is working or not so i'll save everything we'll switch to our local host i'll try to change this color again and cpu intensive work wow that's really great i can interact with the ui so it's not blocking our application now now i now now web worker responded in 50 seconds really great so everything is working fine and we have achieved what we were willing and we have resolved the ui blocking issue you can get final code uh, from this url hope you have enjoyed this video please do share with your colleague and uh, friends thanks for your precious time stay tuned thank you